A Virginia Tech grad from Ukraine is giving back to an organization that helped her as a child. 10 News reporter Connor Dietrich shows us how even the smallest of gifts can give someone hope. Operation Christmas Child is going on 30 years of gift giving. Within those three decades, the nonprofit has visited over 170 countries and delivered millions of gifts. One of their shoe boxes ended up in the hands of Elizabeth Groff. At the time, Groff was an 11 year old living in an orphanage in Ukraine after she lost both her parents and was separated from her sister. After losing my sister and my whole family, I kind of felt like I hit rock bottom. Um, and that's when Operation Christmas Child came to my orphanage. Each shoebox is filled with toys, school supplies, and hygiene items. Groff's favorite item was a bright yellow yo-yo. I remember in that moment uh, realizing that, you know, it wasn't really about the yo-yo, but what it represented to me. And to me at that time, that yo-yo represented hope. At 13 years old, a family in Virginia adopted Groff. One year, her family started packing shoeboxes of their own. I told my mom about it and I said, you know, I want to pack more shoeboxes. I don't want to just do one or two or three. I want to do more boxes. She eventually became a Hokie and started an Operation Christmas Child Club. Fast forward to present day, Groff is set to deliver the 200th millionth shoebox this weekend in the place where it all started. For someone who's received a shoebox myself and knowing how much it meant to me and how much hope it brought me and how excited I was. And then knowing there are so many children in Ukraine that need the same hope that I once received was really the reason why I got involved. While Groff no longer has her bright yellow yo-yo, she wants future yo-yos to give each kid just as much hope. I'm Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.